I'm gonna use a translator to make this recipe where the instructions are all in Japanese. I'm making warabi mochi. So I open the translator app, align the camera on the instructions, and take a photo. Then it'll automatically translate for me. I typically have to take photos multiple times because I'll get weird translations like this. What do you wanna meet? And mix well with a spoon at the bottom of the container until there is no slug. Or transfer the six countries to a flat container. And I mean, this is gonna happen. Taking multiple photos gives it a chance to give me more accurate translations. Some of the translations were still a bit funky, but I got the gist. I just needed to mix 300 milliliters of water with the starch, microwave it until it's translucent, and cool it down in water. Then I put roasted soybean powder called kinako and syrup on top. I was so excited to try this, but something's wrong. Maybe because this packet's been expired for half a year? Don't judge me, but this does not taste like warabi mochi. Or maybe something got lost in translation. Huh. Oh, why does this taste metallic? No, I had a warabi mochi before. It didn't have this strange metallic taste to it. 